Hello and welcome to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. And today it's about beauty. Yes, I went to Sephora and I got just a couple of things. So if this is a channel that you think that you might be interested in, please hit that like button leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and become part of my little youtube family if you are already subscribed and you're returning thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for coming back and spending a few minutes of your busy day with me i appreciate it so much so today i wanted to show you what i found when i went to sephora i've got a new foundation that I have not tried before and this is by Becca and it's called Skin Love. So we're going to be trying this out today and also got a couple of new little brushes that were on sale right here. They were like 50% off so score on that. So I'm going to be showing you the foundation and um, also want to tell you what um, what I've got on my eyes uh, right now is an old, old classic standby. This has been so well loved. This is the collection is, uh, Essentiel de Chanel. There's the name of it if you can see that. But it has been well loved. <laughs> can you see this? <laughs> Now, I didn't use the blush today because I forgot. I used another blush, and you'll see it in the, in the video. But, um, yeah, but these eyeshadows, and I didn't tape doing the, the eyeshadow. I'm just showing you the look here with uh, what I've got on, so, and the lips. And it's kind of a sheer color, so I just put a nude lip underneath it. So, anyway, so that's what's on the eyes and everything. So, if you want to see how this foundation, how it did on me, Stay tuned and we'll get started on it right now. I went into Sephora the other day and I saw this Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. It's a little difficult when you can't try the shade zone, so you kind of have to guess. So I'm not sure what we're going to get, but it does have kind of a, a clear thing here. So, in the shade that I got is linen. So, it doesn't have a number, just linen. So, um, I'm trying to look on here in the ingredients list. Okay, the first thing, well, is water. But it also has dimethicone. So, it can be... So I would think that I should be able to use a either a water-based primer or a silicone-based primer since it's got both. So, uh, which is, I think this is the first one I've run across that has. So I'm going to start with my e.l.f. Putty Primer, which of course is a silicone. And I'm just going to put it into some pores on my cheeks, nose, and chin. And then I'm going to go in with, let's see, um, the Rodile, which is the silicone-based primer. I really have enjoyed this. Take just a little bit of it. And around. All right. So let's see what we get here with this. Whoa, it's going to shake it up. The lid almost came off, but it's a pump. It is a tube and a pump, which is very similar to like its cosmetics, the CC cream, if you're familiar with that. Now, let's see, does this have, let's see. This has vitamin C, cold pressed avocado and melon blend, and bitter ginger. 
interesting <laughs> to say the least <laughs> so let's check and see what we get color wise Ooh. okay this is going to be interesting it looks very very light And I just did like a half a pump on there. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Artiste brush. I'm going to bring it in a little closer so you can see if I can. There. And let's see what happens with this foundation. it's not heavy by any means it is not runny either all right I turn this light to a different a little bit cooler you can see okay so my forehead does not have any on it but the face does it's a nice coverage I like it something is burning my eye though I don't know if it's something in here that I got too close to it that's interesting. It could be something, one of these products that's in there. I don't know. Uh, infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Complex. So that brightening complex must be the vitamin C, the avocado and melon blend, and bitter ginger. Interesting. Okay, it is very, it is a very pale. It doesn't have a lot of color, but you can see on my neck, I don't either <laughs> so all right let's go ahead let me get just a smidgen more just gonna put it on my finger there anyway and do the forehead and maybe a little bit more up here a little bit goes a long way with this stuff that I can see already all right All right, so there's the foundation. Um, could I go a shade darker? Most definitely. But um, I might could just add some of those drops to it also just to make it darker. But so this is very, 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 very light, even for me. So, but it is very smooth. So let's see, because it's supposed to blur weightless blur foundation all right let's take a little bit of the by terry hyaluronic acid uh, powder but i'm going to wait wait let's put a little bit of concealer on under my eyes real quick and that's what I like to use that on. See, my concealer even looks even darker than it. A little bit more yellowish. So, this is that e.l.f. Camo sponge. I love the shape of it for under the eyes. All right, so 
warm it up with your finger to get those lines out and a little bit of the by terry powder all right then i'm going to use the bye bye pores pressed powder Now I'm going to go in with uh, the technique that I always like to do, which is the primer, Prep and Prime. This is the Max Fix Plus. I'm going to spray a little bit on it, on top of the powder. I'm getting out of the... Thing. Okay, let that sit for just a dry off just a second, just a second. and then press it in with the sponge. All right, so I'm gonna take you back a little bit. There we go, okay. Um, So, because it is so pale, I feel very, very pale, I need some bronzer. And you know Mama loves a bronzer. Mama loves some bronzer. So, I'm going to use Becca bronzer. Yes, Becca's bronzer. So, if I'm using the foundation, I might as well use her. Uh, the, And this is the bronzer here, and this is in Bali Sands. So, I'm going to go in with... No, I'm going to go in with this one, this bad boy. And this is the Sephora Flawless Light Powder. And this is just, uh, it's not a big, you could use it as a powder brush, but I use this for a bigger bronzer. So I'm just going to tap into my bronzer. First, I'm going to go under my cheekbone. And then in my temples. Okay. And then I want to go a little bit underneath the chin. All right, so that warmed it up a little bit right there. Okay, so what uh, else I got? What else did I get while I was at um, Sephora? I bought two brushes. They had some brushes that were on the clearance, 50% off on the Sephora brushes. So this one is the, let me open it up. This is too stinking cute. This is called the Pro Fan Detail. Evertel Precision number 62. Can you see this little sucker? It is like a little fan, a thick fan brush. But I thought this would be perfect for if I want to do, like, I'm going to dip into my bronzer. And I want to do a little bit on the side of my nose. This is the perfect brush for this. Also, if you want to do a little bit more detailed under your chin, you could. If you want to do a little bit more detailed on your cheekbones, you could. Just a little bit more. Anyway, this was, I think, $8. And Sephora Pro brushes are really, really nice. Okay. All right. Cool. 
So what I'm going to do is also I want to show you the other brush I got. And I don't think I have even opened it yet. So I need to oops, get the plastic off of this. This is going to be the Pro Shader. Um, there, and this one was um, also half off. Okay, there it comes. It's sometimes not easy to say, seal the heck out of these little suckers. Because I really haven't been able to see. Because they don't have the, the samples of the, the, the testers out. So it's just like you can't really, you can go online and kind of look at the picture of them, but you can't see in store. You go in there and it's just like, um, there's nothing on the shelves really. And it's just, uh, it's sad. It's almost more fun to go shopping online than it is in the store. And they're always come packaged in their little cute little thing if you want to keep them um, straight. Or you know where they're not messed up if you want to keep your little thing on. Okay, then take the plastic off. Okay, so it's just a little bitty shader brush. So that's great for detailed work. Okay, cool. I like that. All right, so um, I need a little blush. So I'm going to go in with this one that um, I got for Christmas from my daughter, Zov Zovia, Spice of Life, which is this pinkish coral color. And it's called Shim uh, Sinfully Delicious. I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush on top of that bronzer over here. I think this goes really well with the, the highlights in my hair. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to take that brush and just kind of buff that just lightly. Do the other side. All right. Now this uh, also came with a little highlighter over here. So I'm just going to take the side of my little blush brush. Just kind of slightly rub that on the highlight part right there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go and finish the rest of this, and then I'll come back in a minute, and I'll tell you what I think about this foundation. Hold on. All right. Um, okay, I have finished the rest of my makeup, and I'm looking at this, and I think it, it didn't do bad at all. It's a very nice finish. So um, I would say yes, that... Uh, I like this, the Becca Skin Love. Uh, let me know down below if you have tried it and if you like it or if you don't like it for some reason. But the color, I think I was able to work with it. So, um, of course, during the summer when I'm doing uh, my tanning or my spray tanning, this would not work very well at all, I don't think, because it is so pale. But, um, so yeah, so I kind of... Um, it's a very pretty foundation. I like it. So I'm going to stick with that. So, all right. So I'm going to wrap this up here. So ladies, remember what I tell you every single day, get up and show up because you are worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a blessed day.